Morning YouTubers. This is a little tour of my cigar collection. This is me, my first humidor that I've owned. Um, smoked cigars for some years, but uh, not had a maybe had the humidor a couple of months now. Um, and really, really starting to get into the cigars, exploring the different flavours. And um, I've been watching Alex McKay and Carl Peterson. Uh, Carl's a good man for his cigar reviews, seems to know his stuff. And Alex, um, a bit like myself, he's just on building his collection. So I just thought I'd, I'd do a little video after watching theirs. So this is my Tower Humidor. We can see we've got uh, a few little bits and pieces in there. Slowly building the collection up. And if you're a newcomer into the cigar world, as, as some of, someone like myself, these gauges are not to be trusted. If you look in the back, I've got the digital Zycar. You need one of those because you can't trust those little things. Um, you can see the videos online for doing salt tests to calibrate and everything, but they're, they're just not that good. So let's have a little look. Obviously, if you're going to smoke cigars, you need a torch lighter. I've had those ones are present. Um, this one I bought when I went to Houston for some training. Also got the little cigar punch as a backup if you go out without the cutter. And then when, when people know you're cigar smokers, they tend to get you a few presents. So I'll just set this camera down while I open these. These uh, cigar scissors, they were a present off someone in the family. Nice gold colour. It's not something you take out with you, but if you if you sat at home in the summer in your garden, a nice uh, nice little cutting set of scissors. And then I'll leave this camera down here. I was bought this as a present. This is a Cohiba leather carry pouch, and this contained three Siglo Six cigars in. I think they retail at about hundred and ten pounds, but it come with the the three cigars in it. So it wasn't wasn't a bad deal once you take the price of the cigars away. Yeah, actually getting the, the case quite cheap. But um, nice, just slips in the jacket pocket if you're going out somewhere. And then this, some of the cigar boxes you get nowadays, the the work of arts themselves. This was, uh, uh, I think it was a duty free. I work work away, so I'm often through the duty frees. I was just using that now for cutters, lighters. Just a nice little box to to house your accessories in. A little Cohiba Siglo Six Three Pack. Like I say, the boxes are quite nice, they're not worth binning. So, this is my collection. We've got uh, various different, some Cuban and some New World cigars in here. Uh, we've got uh, Arturo Fuentes, My Father's. Uh, we've got Upman, Romeo Juliet's, Alec Bradley's, and Hoyo de Montero's. And there we see the, the digital Zycar. Hydrometer at the back. So let's, uh, let's have a little look in. See what we've got. There you can see the uh, digital hydrometer. Just magnetic, magnetic strip, strip on the back. Just sticks to your door. Seventy one there for some reason. It's normally sitting around seventy, but I have just filled the the gel things up with water. So. There we've got one in one in the bottom there. And this was a little uh cigar repairing stuff I bought. I went to Florida and a few cigars got dried out, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'll go go through my, my collection. I've got a, a Maker's Mark 650. Now the wife actually bought me this one on holiday in Florida. Maker's Mark's one of my favourite drinks, so she'd seen the cigar. In the glass tube and she bought me it. It has the wax cap exactly the same as the bottle. I haven't looked at any reviews or anything, I don't exactly know what they like but 
it's a nice looking cigar to keep in the humidor. Here we've got a two refiente. This is known as the Shark, which is the 77. I've seen reviews online about that. I think I also seen Carl Peterson review it, so I've got one of those to try. And then we have a, a My Father number one. So these I've cut the cellophane wrappers to obviously let them get the humidity in. I've seen all sorts of different videos. If it's the right thing, it's the wrong thing to do. But um, I think if you're going in and out and you're showing people off and you're showing your collection off, you can damage the wrappers. So I think it gives them a bit of protection. This is a Fleurs de Lantellis. Whether I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not sure. And then we've got the, I won't get all the tubes out, but we have the Magnum Upman 50, Siglo 6, uh, Bolivar, and we also have uh, Upman Corona Junior. Those tubes are empty, they're actually out. I've just put those on there to, to fill the collection in. Here we've got Romeo Juliet, White Churchill. So if you're just starting out with cigars, you're best buying like the sampler packs and see what flavours you like, see what tastes suit your, suit your palate. Romeo and Juliet, number ones. We have a couple of those. This is a Magnum Upman 50. I've smoked a few of these. These were a nice sweet cigar. This is why I bought this repair stuff. I was on holiday in Florida. Took a few cigars out. Forgot about this one. It all dried out. Try to repair it. The, the wrapper's still damaged. I guess it's still smokable. I certainly won't be throwing it in the bin, put it that way. But uh, that's what happens when you get drunk on a day out on the boat and forget about your cigars. Alec Bradley, Black Market, and that is the Robusto. Bought these, some of these New World cigars have been purchased from a place called Newcastle, which is about 40 minute drive from me, they've actually got a cigar shop called the uh, Cuban Cigar Club with a big walk-in humidor and you can also smoke in the lounge. Prensado, Corona Gorda, then we've got the Cohibas, I'm not sure what this one is, it come in a sampler pack, well, one of the first ones I got and uh, I forget which one it is, it could be Siglo 3, I'm not sure, it's maybe Five inches in length, maybe six inches in length. Smaller ring gauge than a. So, if anyone can help me out with that, give us a give us a comment. Siglo Six, one of my favourites. I can smoke them things all day long. They're a nice, nice smooth cigar. This is a real good cigar. This is a Bahiki Fifty Four. Little expensive these. Um, it's not something you'd smoke every day unless you're a wealthy man. But pigtail cap on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous cigar. Sometimes pick them up a bit cheap and they're duty free. Bolivar, Royal Corona, one of uh, Alex's favourites, I believe. Here we've got the Hoyo de Monteros, Epicure number two. I've got a few of these, and I have to say, I'm, I'm not a big fan of them. I think they've come in sampler packs, and I have smoked a few of them, but. They just, uh, I don't think I'll be buying any more. Rio de Montero, Epicure Special Edition. And then we also have the uh, Patagas Serie P number two. I've read a few reviews on this cigar and they reckon it's uh, best if you leave that thing to age before you give it a smoke. <coughs> Coaba, I think this is the Tri Tridacanselis. I'm not sure where you pronounce it, but I don't think it's the uh, the other one. Is it the Davinos? I'm not sure if it's that one. That's the Upman Corona Junior that was in the tube in the bottom. Fonseca. This little top section here. These are these are the short smoke cigars. These are if you're out walking the dog or you haven't got a lot of time. Now this one, Paul Laranga, I'm not even sure where I got this cigar from. I don't know if it was in a sampler or something like that, but I just don't remember wherever I received that one. Just one of the gel tubes just in the top. And those were a, a present from a, a guy offshore, but the, 
I'm not even sure what brand they are, tobacco. So. He gave me those, he was a he was a Hamlet guy, he had those, he gave me those, so I'll just put them in there, just send him a few photos, keep them happy. And there we have the Zycar gels in the bottom. So that's my tower humidor. Um, I'm just waiting for some deliveries coming off uh, Seed, Seagars Limited uk. That uh, seems to be the common site a lot of the cigar boys are using. I think they're a good price. Deliveries fairly fast. Everything seems to come in order. So that's that's my starting out selection of sticks. And um, as the as the collection grows, I'll uh, I'll come back with some more videos. Thanks for now.